pounds. Get out there and get him off stage. J Mac, J Nasty needs to jump his ass off stage. It's 9.7 pounds. Man, 100 grand weigh 10 pounds, man. You short, homie. The hell you know that? Oh, I was gonna get to him. Just about to go yeah, off. Mathematician here. It's my daughter's college money, man. And flip your ass on stage. All right, we good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Bitcoin overdose, guys. Your daily dose of crypto overdose. You guys don't have to. Go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Flipping those shit coins over the Bitcoins, guys. <sighs> Buy that dip. One Bitcoin, like I said, always equals one Bitcoin. It's really, really important that you guys get that through. This is not any financial advice whatsoever, but... Click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pump stumps news, everything. Otherwise, fam, again, your daily dose. But uh, yeah, guys, I've been posting a lot on Twitter and I actually got invited to the uh, salt bucket challenge. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. If you guys want to stay tuned to that again, click that subscribe and follow button right down below. But I will probably upload that for my video tomorrow. Um, it's only going to be like a minute or two or whatever, but it's kind of funny guys. I ended up going to McDonald's and got a bunch of fries. I'm ready. It's going to be really funny. Uh, I'm going to make the best one out there and I'm probably going to tag some pretty cool people. So it's definitely stay tuned to that. Again, just click that follow button and then come right over to my YouTube page. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell right next to that. But guys, what are we going to be talking about today? That's really the only thing that matters, guys. I'm going to be talking about the logarithmic chart on Bitcoin. We're going to be taking a look at that, doing some TA on critical levels, what I'm kind of looking at for bear market support, a little bit of that bounce plays that we can probably catch. And then what else am I going to be looking at, guys? You probably guessed it, but the only topic that everybody's talking about today is the Bitcoin Cash Fork. Now, we had two different coins come out. We're going to be talking about both of those. We're going to maybe do the futures contracts for both. Uh, I know Poloniax had uh, Satoshi's Vision, and I believe the other one, ABC or whatever is called, Unlimited. I don't remember which one it actually is, but I believe that those features are also up as well. So we can take a look at both of those. But, you know, starting it off, guys, I just want to point this out that it would be nice for this capitulation to begin and continue just to confirm that it's actually the capitulation phase. A lot of whales, guys, are going to want you to sell now. Um, I can tell you that from experience. I can tell you that from being me that I want other people to uh, lose. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to be a dick in that either. I think you guys are going to win the ones that are here. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel, again, just click that notification bell to stay up to date. I cannot stress that enough. But, uh, you know, from what I know, guys, we are in the beginning of a bear market. We have officially closed today below that bear market 5,800 that we've been taking a look at most of the year. Uh, if you guys remember most of my charts, they started from about 11.7 and you saw that perpetual downtrend from there. And guys, we've seen it even worse from 20K. So we are kind of dipping into that bear market territory. We're going to try to find a couple of bottoms here. But what? how do you? How do I know that we're going to catch some supports and resistances, right, guys? Everybody probably wants to know what I'm thinking about during that. So um, I basically just went back, okay? I, I did this thing called the logarithmic chart. And guys, it does it by percentages, not so much actual price movements. And what you can do is here, you can click, and I don't know why that isn't coming up, but um, you can right click on this and you can hit logarithmic right here. Regular usually looks like this. Um, this is also a pretty good momentum indicator and whatnot if you're trying to find supports. But um, the logarithmic chart, guys, will give you all of the percentages instead of just the daily candle closes. So... You know, it'll give you a little bit more room to work with. And why I'm looking at these critical levels, guys, uh, down to the 5,000 point. We're really looking at that 4950 as a good entry. We see back here in September of 2017, we had 
quite a bit of a resistance there and it seems to have just cleared over and then we came right back down to that 3000 area we cleared it we breached it and then we actually broke through this 5300 area which is like kind of the next area that i'm looking at for an actual leg down we haven't really seen that for too long yet i think we might have touched it today looking all the way over um but you know 5600 seemed to be where we stopped and you know guys we'll be testing 5300 i believe for the next probably day maybe two days uh you know selling is probably going to start picking up here we probably are entering into a different kind of bear market guys i know you've seen 90% retraces. I know you've seen 75% retrace on Bitcoin already, but I do believe we are finally headed into an actual bear market. Guys, if you remember me saying this a long time ago, we looked at the monthly and we, uh, we actually have to take this off of, oh wait, no, no, no. I think we can leave it guys. So let me just move this moving average, this 20 or this 13 to a 21 real quick. And if you guys remember, the 21-month moving average had held up until about this week. I mean, you're very much looking at, um, you know, a different kind of market here. Most of the moving averages we had on our side up until now. So it's just something to note. Guys, we have to start getting aggressive with ourselves. And we really have to start taking action on the dumps and the pumps that we can really find. You know, you got to find that support. You got to buy into it. And then you got to sell or you can buy into the support start averaging down this is probably a good time to start dollar cost averaging into the 2k range guys i've told you many times before but my buys are all up and down here so i have i had 5500 yesterday that went off okay and um you know that was the beginning so i have 4950 i have 2950 i have 1950 and i have 3450 so why am I looking at all the 50s, guys? I'm trying to catch wicks. These are support resistances. So they are going to have a little bit of infighting in those. And you know what, guys? Dollar cost averaging on the way down is probably not as bad as it was. Uh, if you've been buying every dip since 20K, I feel bad for you, son. But you got 99 more problems and 2K might be one. And it is going to be a brutal, you know, guys, it's not going to be quick. I know a lot of people want that quick capitulation, quick bounce back, but you know, as long as I see it happening, we're probably going to slowly take down to 2k. It's going to be a while. We're probably going to see this bear market for another year, depending on, you know, this week, next week, and so on so forth. We'll probably get a good bounce off of 5,000. We'll probably see that 5,800 becoming pretty big resistance unless if we clear it tonight, which fam, I, I mean, you never really know with Bitcoin. We could see it fucking dumping and then just going right back into a new range, maybe up here in that 6,300 area. Who knows? But if it doesn't happen today, I would not expect it to. We have low volume. We haven't really seen anything yesterday. And, you know, we just, I don't know, guys. 5,800 is probably going to become a pretty big resistance. So I'd be... You know, if 5,800 does become resistance, I would start looking for that 5,300 or that 5,000 entry. So it's just something how I'm going to be playing short term here. But, you know, for the time being, the guys, there's really nothing we can do. I would not be trading this. I would not be trading altcoins right now. Uh, but that being said, guys, I do own Bitcoin Cash on Binance. And I don't know when this market's going to get updated, but I'm sure it's soon. I mean, right now there's no trading. I think they're kind of waiting for stabilization. But that being said, guys, we had a Bitcoin Cash fork today. So the fourth coin, guys, forking again. Uh, you know, what the fork is happening? You really forked up this time. I totally understand you guys' uh, concerns. But, you know, Bitcoin Cash, number four. So there is some concern, guys. We're still chilling at $185 million market cap. Not good. Bitcoin dominance is still above that 50%, though. I do like that. I think we're going to see that number go up to 75 I don't know if I'm giving too fast of information, so let me know if I need to slow down in the comments down below. I get it, guys. I got a lisp, so it's really hard to understand sometimes. Whatever, though. All right, but yeah, so Bitcoin Cash, guys, number four. Not, you know, I mean, we haven't seen the actual coin split yet. Uh, I mean, we had the, we had mines 
mining today we have mined forks for both coins but we have not seen the exchanges start doing it i think poloniax and maybe bitfinex had done it but as of right now we have not had the chain split on bitchix binance or anything of the like and i think we're going to be kind of waiting for that 50 percent confirmation guys last time last i saw it bitcoin cash abc which is the first coin so there's two bitcoin cash forks now and bitcoin cash abc guys and this is the best i mean this is obviously all it seems like i'm listing out government agencies at this point i have no idea what's going on but bitcoin cash abc slash unlimited is the first coin that is the original one that's the one that you see right here okay you see bitcoin cash abc right here on number four spot and then since we have not had the market cap split yet and i don't know when coin market cap's gonna do it but maybe it won't happen who knows but bitcoin cash satoshi's vision bsv is also in the mix now and we're kind of going to see which coin has it and which coin is going to lose. I kind of want to see the hashing rate for both. Um, hash power, B BCHSB maybe. I don't know if it'll like show up or not. Um, I just need a website. That's all, you know. How about news BTC? Oh my God. Can I see coin.dance? Here it is maybe. All right. So yeah, this is the Bitcoin cash nodes uh bitcoin satoshi's vision does not have anything right now they're all pending but it was successfully upgraded looks like bitcoin abc already has 32 blocks and 82 blocks have been mined for the new consensus rules but yeah we're looking at um bitcoin unlimited and bitcoin abc pulling away with this guys three minutes ago was the last one on satoshi's vision but we're getting stuff two minutes ago here and two minutes ago here. But there's a lot more pools mining for Bitcoin ABC. Not really surprising. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, 35% hash rate. That's not bad. And the company support is kind of what's uh, but the potential flip here. So the 51%, like, guys, you really got to look at that number. But yeah, it looks like Bitcoin ABC is probably going to win out here and that's the original Bitcoin cash chain, the one with Roger Ver. So we'll see what happens, guys. I think it'll be interesting this weekend. We'll definitely know more. But I'll be keeping you guys in the loop just because I do own a little bit of Bitcoin cash. I bought like 1.8 coin or something like that. Uh, it's on my um, Binance right here. It's worth 0.14 Bitcoin. So yeah, it's 1.79 uh, Bitcoin Cash. So I'll get 1.79 Bitcoin Satoshi's Vision and Bitcoin ABC. So guys, we'll see what happens here. But, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting little fight, I think. It was kind of cool how it started because honestly, it was just kind of uh, Craig Wright kind of going off on every other coin. He's like, yeah, I'm sick of all these shit coins. I'm going to start mining the fuck out of them and deleting them and all that stuff. So it's kind of cool. But anyways, guys, nothing else from me. Again, Bitcoin overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Flipping those shit coins over to Bitcoins. Buy Bitcoin and show this is not any financial advice whatsoever, but click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pump stumps news. Guys, go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose again. Crypto Aziz. Sometimes you got to work a little so you can follow a lot. Buy that dip and peace out, fam.